Hi friends, welcome to our channel Learn with MSU. So this is the fourth session of AI. So already we completed three sessions, which means the agent definition, types of agents and types of environment. Now we are entering into the real part of AI, that is a problem solving. So in this session, we will discuss about what is mean by a problem, how to represent a problem, which means what is mean by a well defined problem and then we will discuss about how to represent few problems. And then from next session onwards, we will discuss the real searching strategies. That, that's what will make more interesting on AI. Let's move on to the session. Already we solved many problems from our childhood, but we not yet defined what is mean by a problem. We can't assure that every problem has a solution. A problem may contain a solution. A problem may not contain a solution. What is mean by a problem is a problem is a goal or a set of means for achieving the goal. To achieve the goal, we are progressing towards, that is what we are calling as a problem. Process of exploring what means can do is called as a search. What we are doing is, we know what we want to reach, that is a goal. And then moving towards the goal by using searching the goal. That process we are calling it as a problem. So this is the search word plays an important role. So from the next session onwards, we will discuss about what are the various searching strategies are available. So if a problem is well defined, if the problem is well defined means you can easily solve the problem. So if a problem is said to be well defined, it must contain these properties. First property is a initial state. Initial state is it's a starting state of a problem, which means that where we are going to start our problem. We will discuss with an example at the time you will get a clear idea on this. Goal state is a solution of the problem or where we are stopping the process. Not always a goal state is a solution. Either if we are solving a problem, we may end solving the problem by reaching out the solution. Otherwise, you can't do anything. That is also we can call it as a goal state. So we can say that every solution is a goal state or every goal state is not a solution. Successor function is, is used to identify the next state. What we are going to do is we are going to start from an initial state and then we are going to reach out a goal state processing through number of states that is what the process of problem so initial state to re go reaching out the goal state by using the successor function we are processing towards one by one that is what we are calling it as a successor function what is mean by a next important thing is a path cast so it is a actually a cast record to move from one state to other state because for everything you can you have to pay for this that is it may be a time or it may be a uh, space depending upon the problem this cost will be defined is a cost required to move from one state to other state and then the most important cost is a step cost so it is actually a cost required to travel from state x to state y for performing action a so if you are performing action A, then the cost required to travel from X to Y. That is what we are calling it as a step cost. Suppose if you want to travel from one place, that is A to B, you are having different modes are there. Either you can go for a walk and then you can use your bike or you can use your car. So depending upon these three actions, we are having three actions are available. If you choose any one of the action, it requires some specific cost. Suppose if you are using your car, then suppose let us consider the step cost is the amount of fuel required. Suppose if you are using your car means this cost will be very high. Bike means this, this is very less than this car. And if you are using your bicycle or if you are going for a walk, then we can call it as this is uh, step cost is very less. And then what is meant by a path is a path is actually a way from initial state to the goal state. So here we are having initial state and here we are having a goal state. And then suppose let us consider we are visiting the state number one, two, three and then so on. This is what we are calling it as a path. And what is the state spaces? It contains everything initial state, intermediate state, at last a goal state. That is what we are calling as a state space. Goal test is whenever if you are reaching a new state, we are checking whether it is a goal state or not. That is what we are calling as a goal test. It is actually a binary test. It will return either true or false. Now we will discuss few problem on this. At the time you will get each and every terms very clearly. 
let us consider a vacuum cleaner world problem which is already we discussed earlier a vacuum cleaner is available in either in two of the rooms either a or b the rooms a may be dirt or b may be dirt so there are only eight possible states are there what are the eight possible states are both the rooms are having dirty and cleaner is present in room number a and cleaner is present in room number b and room a is having dirty so cleaner is present in a cleaner is present in b and room b is dirty cleaner is present in a and cleaner is present in b both the rooms are clean cleaner is present in a or cleaner is present in b so for this eight possible states are there so eight, among these eight possible state anyone can be initial state but your goal state must be this seven or eight we are having no restriction that the cleaner must be present in a or b it may be present in a or b so the initial state may be from one to eight but your goal state must be seven and eight either you have to reach seven or you have to reach eight so this is what we are calling it as a state space now by seeing this diagram you can clearly understand if you perform this action what will be the next state consider this is state number one in this state number one if you can't perform left action because this is the left to most room if you perform left action still we are in the same state if you perform right action then we are moving to the second state here you see if you perform right action we are moving to the second state from this you can execute the suck action if you execute the clean action then we are moving to this state so let us consider this is th state number three and then from this state you can't perform right action so we are in the same state and from this if you perform left we are moving to one and if you perform suck action now we are moving to the fourth state and similarly here you consider from three you can't perform left already this room is clean so if you perform suck means we are remaining in the same state if we executing the right action we are moving to the fifth state here we are moving to the fifth state and then from fourth state already b room is clean so you can't perform right you can you can perform suck action and if you execute this left action we are moving to the sixth state and then here we are having seven and eight so you for all, all the problems you can't draw this state space this is actually a minimal problem which contain only three possible inputs room a may be clean or dirt room b may be clean or dirt cleaner may present in a or b so totally we are having only eight states are there so we easily drawn the state space but just imagine for a chess game for every time we are having multiple number of moves are there so you can't draw state space to understand the concept of what is mean by initial state and a goal state this is actually a simple picture now by seeing this diagram itself you can able to understand from which state we are moving to the which state from first if i want to reach out the seventh state means i will execute the suck action and then i will execute the right action or otherwise i will execute the suck action we are moving to the eighth state it is one of the goal states so directly we can move then there is another one problem called as a tic tac toe game what is the initial state the board is completely empty that is we are calling it as a initial state what is a goal state arranging the coins in a three continuous places either by player one or player two that is actually a solution or a winning state but the problem is it may end in a draw also that is also one of the goal state what is successor function is we are placing path cast and step cast here we are not playing a vital role so we consider it as one what is a path first we are placing empty empty board then first coin is placed and then second coin will be placed and then the third coin is placed and then so on finally we are reaching out the board is filled that is what we are calling it as a the last state that is a goal state either the goal state may be player one can win or player two can win or the, the game is ended in a draw and then the eight number puzzle problem consider this is your starting state you may hear about this problem there are nine possible squares are there one of the squares are empty and then your goal state is you can rearrange this so what you can do is you can shift eight to the right hand side and then you can down the six to the bottom side you can perform the actions like this so you will write the successor function successor function is either you can move the coins to the left hand side or right hand side or up or down but there are some restrictions are there you can't perform left action from these squares because this is a left to most square and similarly you can't perform right action from these squares and similarly you can't perform the up action from these squares and down action from these squares that is one of the conditions suppose for left action you can execute left action consider from 1 4 and 7 you can't execute the left action because that is actually left to most squares if you execute the left action then it will be moved into the previous location suppose let us consider here the 8 will be placed here the empty space is there 
if i execute left action the 8 will be moved to this location so that is x minus 1 and from far right you can't execute the right action from 3 6 and 9 and if you execute the right action then it will be moved to one place forward which means that here if there is 8 if i execute the 8 the 8 will be moved to the 9th square and similarly for performing up action you can't execute from 1 2 3 it will be moved to the 3 square reduced so from this if i execute suppose let us consider here there is a empty place is there from here 8 if i execute this 8 is moved from 8th location to the 5th location and similarly down means it will be 3 times incremented 3 is placed in the 6th location if i execute uh, down action it will move to the 9th location similarly you can write the successor function this is one of the successor function you can provide the step cast for left and right you can use the step cast as only one and then for up and down you can use the step cast as two you can define your own problem with respect to that the user will execute and then they will solve the problem and then we will consider the path cast as one to solve the problem you have to follow some of the steps first one is that we have to define the problem and then analyze the problem that is what still we discussed what is mean by defining a problem if i want to solve first and foremost thing is the problem must be well defined if a problem contains all the characteristics then you can able to easily solve the problem how we are going to solve the problem first we have to formulate our goal then we have to formulate our problem then we are searching for a solution then execution phase this is a very very important thing which we will discuss in the next session so consider this problem we want to move from one place we want to move from identify the shortest path from a to g we are having variety of algorithms are available to identify the shortest path from one node to other node consider this graph what is a goal formulation is first and foremost we must know what is the initial state and what is the goal state that is what we are calling as a step number one goal formulation and second most important step is a problem formulation we want to identify what all the intermediate states are available from a what are the paths we can move from g what are the path we can move so we are identifying all the intermediate states by using these intermediate states only you can go for any one of the solution and third important step is uh, searching for a solution here we have to discuss about variety of searching techniques now for for example we consider from a to g we are having these paths are available obviously we have to use any one of the searching strategy to find out a solution here by seeing the diagram itself we identified but we have to use a, a technique to identify the solution we are having multiple solutions are there among these there is one solution available that is with the least cost that is four and fourth phase is we have to identify the optimal solution here the optimal solution is we want to identify the shortest path suppose if we are having another one uh, thing is available that is we want to reach out the solution with least number of states then this may be a solution a d g because it contains the, the we visited only three states and then we reach out a solution a b g is another one solution that is with the cost of six depending upon what is the optimal solution you have to decide the solution that is what done in the fourth phase so what we are going to discuss in the next session is what are the different searching strategies are available how to find all possible solutions that is what the important to solve a problem we are following four important steps goal formulation problem formulation searching for a solution the last one is a execution hope you understood this concept thanks for watching if you not subscribe to my channel subscribe to our channel if you like this video put a like